Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to solve two improper integrals. So the first one is the integral from L2 to infinity 1 over square root of e to x minus 1 to 2 that we are going to let u equal to the denominator, which is square root of e to the x minus 1. And the differential process, we get du is equal to the derivative that which is going to be 1 over 2 square root of e to the x minus 1. And don't forget the chain rules so multiply the derivative that which is going to be e to the x. And then don't forget this is dx. I want to isolate the dx and multiply the reciprocal on both sides. We get dx is equal to this is 2, but this right here is the same as you are put on u right here. And over e to the x and this right here, we have the du. Very good. And now we have to take this to the u world. As you can see, x is the ln 2 to infinity. But don't forget to take Take the numbers to the u as well. When x is the ln2 right here, e to the ln2 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, square root of 1 is 1. So here we have u is equal to 1, and then we put infinity right here. e to the infinity is infinity minus 1 is still infinity, square root of infinity is infinity. So right here, you see the infinity right here. Very good. And this right here is 1 over u, and dx is the same as that, which is 2u over e to the x. And then we have this in the u world, but that's good. And you see that u cancels out. But the problem is that e to the x is what? Well, look back here, square both sides, add one both sides, we see that e to the x is nicely equal to u squared plus 1, isn't it? Now that's good. Put it Back, you see that I'll put a 2 in the front. We have the integral from 1 to infinity, and we have 1 over e to the x again u squared plus 1, and we are in the u world. Very good, right? And then, of course, integrate this guy, we get 2 and the inverse tangent. And of course, we have u, and then don't forget we are going from 1 to infinity. And now let's do this in your head again. Put infinity right here, square inverse tangent of infinity is power over 2 times that is pi, and then we are going to minus, put the 1 right here, inverse tangent of 1 is pi over 4 times 2 is pi over 2, and all when you subtract, you get pi over 2. And as you can see, this right here is the first one. And and now you might be wondering, what should we do with the second one? Well, don't worry, I'm going to erase the both first. And then you see right here, it's actually really nice. I'm just going to use my finger and get rid of the square root. I'm not rushing to say the denominator. I'm just getting rid of the square root. And this right here is actually an interesting question as well. And the easiest way to do this is this, right? I'm just going to multiply the top and bottom by e to the negative dx, e to the negative dx. Why? Because it works out wonderfully. And as you can see, this right here is still going to be ln2 to infinity. I don't need to go to u world. You can just do code u in world on your head. On the top, we just have e to the negative dx over this times this. 1 minus this times this is e to the negative dx dx. And as you can see, the derivative of the bottom is precisely the top. So what that means is that this right here is just ln absolute value of the bottom, which is 1 minus e to the L, e to the negative dx, like this. And of course, plug in numbers ln2, infinity. And the nice thing is that if you put infinity right here, e to the negative infinity is 0, ln1 is 0. So the first part is going to be 0. And then we are going to minus, put ln2 right here. We'll be really careful. Here we have e negative ln2, right? And then you have to be sure you put a negative right here. So you are looking and this is e ln of 2 to a negative 1, which is the same as e to the ln of 1 half, and then you just get rid of that, so you have 1 half inside that right here. So you have 1 minus 1 half, which is going to be 1 half, right? So when you put that down right there, you have ln of 1 half. But the thing is that, well, this is the same as what? 2 to a negative 1, so you can put a 1 negative 1 in the front, uh, so on all, negative of ln 1 half is actually the same as positive ln 2. You have to have a positive number. So this right here is it. 